Hi, welcome to Wolf Wednesday. Ozar is in the back there sleeping. She's not up with me right now. Last week I discussed with you items that are in your dog's food. And this week I'm going to brush up a little bit on that and talk to you about items and ingredients that are in your, in your dog's treats that simply should not be there. The first one I'm going to tell you about is an item that's commonly found in um, you can get it at grocery stores and in your pet food stores across the country. And it's a beef flavored item, or it's supposed to be a beef flavored item. And it contains wheat, cornmeal, flour, corn, water, sugar, glycerin, soybean meal, starch, before it even contains any type of beef or beef flavoring, which if it's a beef flavored item, all those items are not, should not be included. Sugars most especially, and glycerin. Glycerin in food, um, it acts as a preserver, it's a solvent, it's a sweetener. What that's doing in your pet's treats is beyond me. The next one is for an item that you get it at the pet food stores across the country. And it's supposed to be a healthy treat for them. And it contains gelatin as the first ingredient. And, um, protein isolate, glycerin again, um, another um, protein isolate, uh, something I cannot even pronounce, and then a little bit of flavoring. And it's like, thank you for all of this supposed healthy stuff before you can even give me a couple drops of flavoring for them. And it's not even the pure meat of that animal, it's just some flavoring of it. And that isn't appropriate for your dog at all also. When you should be giving your dog a treat, you should be able to not only pronounce all the treats in there, there should not be that many items that are in your dog's treat whatsoever. And it should all be something that you could eat as well. You might not want to taste it, but it should include like the meats, the vegetables, and the fruits that are gonna be healthy for your pet to have. I mean, items such as flour and such, it can contain also, but the main bulk of those ingredients should be all items that you're going to be able to read and completely understand what's on your pet's label. I hope that helps you out right now when you're looking to get your dog a healthy treat and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. See you next week.